South Africa is a country on the southernmost part of Africa. It is bordered by countries such as Namibia, Botswana, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and over 2,800 kilometers of coastline. South Africa is Africa's second largest economy just behind Nigeria, and it is Africa's most visited country. South Africa is the ultimate destination on the African continent. South Africa has very distinct landscapes and ecosystems. From inland safari destinations and nation owl parks, where you can find some of the world's most exotic animals like lions, elephants, giraffes amongst others, exotic beaches in the Western Cape, lush winelands around Stellenbosch and Parle, craggy cliffs at the Cape of Good Hope, flat-topped Table Mountain, forests, lagoons, islands, mountains, South Africa has it all. A paradise at the south of Africa. With a population of over 60 million people spread across 1,221,037 square kilometers, the country has an even richer culture and history. For those who know the history of this great country, it has certainly faced some dark times. The darkest moment in their history being apartheid. This was a period of high racial segregation and discrimination against the black race in South Africa. Many who stood up against this policy lost their lives, and many more ended up behind bars. Even in dark moments like these, heroes like Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo took center stage in what was a guerrilla-type war for the freedom of blacks in South Africa. Nelson Mandela ended up becoming the first black president of South Africa after 27 years in history. They always say tough times makes you stronger, and it was this dark history which laid the foundation for the nation we know today as South Africa. South Africa really shot to global prominence after hosting the World Cup in 2010, thereby staking her claim as a major player on the international scene. To some people, the World Cup in 2010 was the best World Cup ever. South Africa is also very blessed with natural resources. They are the fifth largest producers of diamonds and the twelfth largest producers of gold in the entire world. You should definitely consider visiting South Africa. So you want to visit South Africa, but where exactly do you go in this very vast country? In a country as vast and diverse as South Africa, there is no shortage of locations to visit. So where exactly do you start? Well, that's why you have us. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's development. So if you're African and aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. If you had the impression that South Africa was underdeveloped, this video will completely change your mind. You'll see that there are cities in this country developed as anywhere else in the Western world. When compiling this list, we took into consideration cities with a population of at least a million people. We also took into consideration the most beautiful and technologically advanced cities in South Africa, superb infrastructure, and of course a good environment for business. Let's get right to it. 5. East London The city of East London has the nickname Buffalo City. This is because the Buffalo Pass and the Buffalo River are all found in this city. The city, which is about 1,000 kilometers from Cape Town, is located on the southeast coast of South Africa in the Eastern Cape Province. This city boasts the only river port in the whole of South Africa, and it is also a hub for manufacturing enterprises and companies in South Africa. Four, Pretoria. The world's richest Maelan Musk was born in this city. Pretoria is the administrative capital of South Africa, with a population of about 2,500,000 inhabitants. Pretoria is also known to be the academic center of South Africa, as some of the best schools and research facilities are found in this city. The University of South Africa is found in Pretoria. Pretoria plays an administrative and economic role in the country. Pretoria alone contributed 9% of the gross national geographic product, and the business scene is dominated mostly by manufacturing enterprises. 
Pretoria is very rich with history and culture. 3. Durban Located in KwaZulu-Natal province of South Africa, Durban is city of origin of one of Africa's finest rappers, Nasty C. Located on the east coast of South Africa, Durban has a population of about 3,400,000 inhabitants. Durban holds the chief seaport in South Africa, and this city is also world-renowned because of its diversity with a large population of black, white, and Asian people living together. Durban was one of the host cities during the 2010 World Cup, and due to their huge Indian population, Cricket is also a very popular sport in India. The tourism sector in Durban is quite a big deal, with beaches leading into the Indian Ocean, rich culture, delicious cuisine, and just the perfect weather for all holiday lovers. 2. Johannesburg Commonly referred to as Joburg, this is South Africa's most popular city. The city of Johannesburg is located in Gauteng province. It gained the nickname City of Gold when gold was discovered in 1886. The discovery and mining of this gold led to the rapid development of this city such that Johannesburg is the financial hub of South Africa. The world-famous township is also found in the Johannesburg Metropolitan Municipality. Soweto Johannesburg has a population of approximately 5,500,000 inhabitants. Johannesburg is an infrastructure icon in Africa. You can literally see skyscrapers and high-rise buildings everywhere you go. 1. Cape Town Cape Town is a port town founded in 1652. Cape Town is the legislative capital of South Africa. It equally doubles as the capital of Western Cape Province. Cape Town covers approximately 400 square kilometers with an estimated population of about 3,500,000 people. The beaches in Cape Town are a major attraction as the seafood business is really booming in that part of the country. Cape Town also a strategic area for businesses, given the fact that it is a port city, it is really important for international trade. Businesses in the tourism and hospitality industry also stand to benefit as Cape Town has a few tourist attractions. Some of the world-famous tourist attractions in Cape Town includes Table Mountain, which is among the oldest mountains in the world, and the Robben Island Prison, which held Nelson Mandela alongside some other political prisoners during the apartheid era. Robben Island Prison is today a museum. There you go, five of the top cities in South Africa you should definitely consider visiting, especially for business and entrepreneurship. Not only do these cities present the perfect opportunity for business, but as we have seen, most of these cities are also world-class and major tourist attractions. These cities have also proven that Africa as a continent is growing and can compete with other countries on a global stage. South Africa is taking huge leaps especially towards development. World-class cities are on the rise in South Africa. These cities are challenging the narratives of poverty, disorder, and underdevelopment which many used to consider were the characteristics of African cities. There is no doubt that some time to come in the future, other African countries will be able to boast of such magnificent cities. In case you're thinking of doing business or visiting South Africa, I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching this video to the end, and as always, please don't forget to subscribe and become a member of our family here at Think Rich Africa. Leave a like.